Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Stage Light and we're going to do some deep drum editing. When you first open Stage Light, you're presented with this screen. Let's choose New Song and by default it will open on the drum machine. We're going to leave it on its default sound, which is default 35. We're going to put our own pattern in and I'm going to put in an incredibly boring pattern. So just four bass drums like this. I'm going to put this kick in here, although you will hardly hear it at the moment. And then we shall put a snare in here and here. Let's see what we've got now. Dead straightforward four on the floor thing. And then I shall put That other snare in there and then we can start to get into how very 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 deep this drum machine can be the editing is incredible the accuracy what you can do you're going to be amazed 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 okay so first of all let's just turn it down a tiny bit if we want to add notes to this line all we need to do we can add them in like this obviously take them out like that or we can just hold this one and slide over and if we carry on sliding over we'll start to subdivide it and then you can take them out as well or we can erase the whole line if we long hold this, we can go clear row of notes and it'll clear it all. So long hold any of the patterns like that and it will give you options to either change the sound, then you can rename it also. Duplicate it means you can make another one of it. Export it, move it up, move it down. Automate. We're going to get into automation in a minute. The automation is incredible. Okay, so for now, let's just add... basic basic ones like this and a few off beats okay so far so good pretty bland pretty boring we can expand our pattern if we want to but just let's leave it as it is if you want to make the pattern longer tap this little square and you can do it one bar two bars you can change the time signature you can clear the row clear all usual kind of thing. If you hit this little eye here, this will give you more options to uh, edit. So if we selected, say for instance, that one, the, that kick, and let's just open up this little arrow here. And you will see now I could move this kick down to the next row, just like that. Or I could move it back up. I could also change its velocity here. It's already quantized, so hitting quantize isn't going to do anything. <clears throat> I can make very fine adjustments to the beginning and end, so I could start to push and pull that just one particular note. Like, sorry about that, like this. So we'll push the start. And it's going to start it. See? And then do the game this way. And then I could just quantize it back like that. Or I can move the whole thing. Quantize it back. So that's how that works. And you can select you know, multiples and stuff like that. Let's go back to our other view. Now, you'll see that now I have this screen open, I can select either any of the drums, any of the sounds. So let's do with this, uh, this hat here. So we can solo it, we can mute it, we can increase the gain. We can make it go uh, backwards. 
and we can choose the stretch mode either smart or vinyl won't make a lot of difference on a hi-hat <laughs> okay so let's get into oh we can also assign it to a choke group so at the moment it is assigned to a choke group and it would be for an open hat for instance okay so yeah that's kind of self-explanatory one sample will cut another one off in mid sort of sample if you like now let's start to go really 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 deep the automation graphs they are absolutely incredible to access the automation graph for any of these drums okay just hit this little gear icon at the top here and then go down to automation and then let's choose um, pan and here is the automation graph they'll be highlighted for each of the particular hits you can add in Now you can add in if you want to. But let's keep things simple. Now, if you're not wearing headphones, I suggest at this point you go and get some on. So we could pause the video. So we could go like this. Okay, double tapping more or less will get it back to your center position. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna add some more here. Now, we've added some pan. Let's add something else. Let's go down here. Let's go to automation. Let's add a pitch. <coughs> now, we're going to add pitch to the automation uh, graphs now. So we're going to do this. So now I've created a super, super interesting and, and hi-hat with lots and lots of movement. And again, like before, you could just go into this little eye now and make just tiny adjustments to each one of these. You know, it's incredibly deep and, 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 and it's exciting when you start to do stuff like this, you know. OK, so I like now let's go back to our main screen here and let's have a look at this bass drum we can hardly hear it okay and I've, I've selected this particular kick for a reason it's very quiet listen if I solo that it's very quiet but now I can add uh, effects effects to each in each individual sound here so let's just choose an effect and we can have uh, any of these, or if this is the full version, by the way, and has everything installed, all the sound packs and everything. However, all this editing can be done completely with the free version, and you still get use of effects. You just don't get to use your AUV3s, but if you wanted to, that's how you do it. You just select a, a plugin, but I'm gonna stick with the internal plugins. And to that bass drum, I am gonna add a reverb, and I'm gonna add that drum room one or big room and let's see I'll add big room and I'm gonna increase the wet mix turn the gain up a little bit turn it pre delay completely off make that reverb a little bit wider so now I've added a reverb to that one hit there. So now you can hear, it's quite nice. And I'm gonna add another snare in here. And here and here. <clears throat> and because I've selected it now, I now have control over all of this demo, the snare it's called. And we're gonna add an effect to that. We're gonna add a glitch six. Okay, so fantastic. See how much movement we're getting now. Okay, let's add that. And now we can, because this is the open version, I can control all the parameters. 
can choose to reverse certain parts, repeat them. And then I could also, if I want to, add automation. So we can do high cut, low cut. High cut might be nice on the hi hat. We'll try that in a sec. We can set it to push. Let's see, I'm sorry there. Automation, push, pull. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I had to close out. So that means we can push that snare so we can start to drag the beat or make it go a little bit ahead. Let's try that. Getting some swing on that snare now, but we're controlling it. Okay. So I've added this piece of percussion here, and we're going to do some automation on that as well. Automate, and we're going to do a high cut. Also, maybe let's add some, uh, I don't know, some auto war. nice we'll add that we'll drive it up a little bit let's add it back in Let's add another drum. So I've added that snare there. That's just the snare on its own. While we're here, we can tune it. Let's put the delay back in. Now this one. We could reverse that. Let's make it a little bit darker. Let's tune it down a bit as well. Maybe drive the gain up a little bit. Let's apply some bit crusher. Let's apply grit. It's not a destroyer. That might be nice. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna drive the gain up a little bit more for that.
So you see, <clears throat> just from making a very, very basic, boring, just a dead, dead straightforward um, drum pattern, we've created something really interesting by just going in, doing a bit of deep editing, adding effects here and there. But the beauty is it's so easy to automate everything with the automation graphs, of course, but also to, to be able to change out any sound you want. If you didn't like that sound, you could just change it for any of the sounds you can choose from your categories up here. If you wanted snares, kicks, effects, percussion, 808 sounds, anything you like. You know, it's so huge um, what you get. It's it's just brilliant. I, I, I The more I play with stage light, the more I like the way it works, you know. Um... I it's a I, it's and like my eyes are terrible, so I mean I, I, the 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 dark is sometimes a little bit thing, but on this kind of contrast is fine for me. I can see what's going on, um. But I I like it, you know. And the fact that also I can just keep adding and yeah, I can just add. Let's add another. You can go on and on. Some of these kits they've got in there are huge, they're massive, like the sixteen, seventeen pieces long, you know. And it's all there, editable. Now let me see. We've got quite a few effects running. If we hold stage light, where it says stage light for a couple of seconds and then let go, it goes into CPU mode. Let's switch so long and it's back on. <clears throat> and it's doing 12%. And there's our pattern we've just created. And then we can just, you know, save our song. We could just go save song, uh, save, save song as, uh, save it as drum edit for now, drum edit. Okay, and that song is saved. Also, if we go back in here by double tapping it, we can save the drum kit as, uh, I don't know, we'll save it as, not default 35, we'll save it as, I don't, Doug one. Doug one um, kit like this. Okay, done. And then that kit is now saved in our, you know, and if I want to say that pattern, for instance, I'll save that pattern as we'll save drum pattern as uh, Doug pattern one. Okay, and that's done. And then that'll be in my drum patterns as well and my kit will still be there and my song will be there and even if I forget to save when I reopen stage light it will say do you want to reload your last project because you never saved it so it's very difficult to actually lose a project you for waking and you accidentally close and go oh no I didn't save that project it doesn't matter with stage light because it'll just bring everything back for you as soon as you put yeah restore my last project thanks epic it's brilliant, brilliant stuff. Anyway, guys, listen, thank you for watching. As usual, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, <clears throat> please subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a Patreon. Or please, if you possibly, possibly can, please make a one-off donation to help support us at the Sound Test Room. Anyway, thanks for watching. Yes, yeah, stage lights, deep drum editing. It's really, really easy stuff, you know. Brilliant. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Ta-da.